Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Boku no Hero Academia Second Season, or you can call it My Hero Academia Second Season, episode 11. Now this episode right here, um, it's not too bad, nothing complicated, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that after a certain match, Todoroki does have a little small talk with his father, Endeavor. And Endeavor says he's pretty, he's really happy to see that his son decided to accept his power, and he tells him like, um, once you graduate, etc., become my sidekick or something. I'll lead you down to a good path of my of of glory. Although Todoroki says like, um, when I use my left side, I completely forgotten about you. Just that moment right there. Give me some time to think about it, okay? And, and so forth. We have to it that um, we switch to a scene where Izuku is at, and everyone is everyone. Izuku's friends were actually concerned, and they went to the went to the recovery girls um recovery girls room. But apparently, the recovery girl tells him to like get away from him, get out because I have to do surgery on him because he literally like um, pushed his body to a point where he shattered all of his bones in his right arm, etc. To that's really um dangerous, etc. So I just think in my mind, god dang, dude, that's gotta suck. Although Izuku and All Might were having a small conversation with each other, Izuku does feel regret in his actions, but he couldn't just stand by and see Todoroki suffer. And seeing him like, um, seeing him like he's in pain, pain, it just shows that, like, um, Izuku just wanted to do something and help him out on that. Even Izuku realizes if he could ke if he kept his mouth shut, mouth shut, then None of this would have actually happened. He would have advanced in the next round. All Might tells him, "Yeah, it is regrettable, but let me tell you that. Let me tell you one thing: when you butt in, you, when you butt into someone, someone's business, or just butting your nose in, that means just like helping people out with, without, guarantee, without their permission, just shows that you have one of the quality essence of a hero. And of course, like um, the surgery um." Does go well, and we get to know a little small conversation between um, All Might and Izuku that that All Might was actually quirkless, and he had his quirk passed down by his master as a good successor because, etc. Although De Deku or Izuku does ask All Might, didn't you want to consider choosing someone else besides me? You know, and All Might says, you know, I saw you as an old me a long time ago, so that's why I decided to choose you. There's no doubt about that. So therefore, we also see to it that um, aside from major secrets and revelations, we have to it that Ida ends up advancing to the next round by pushing the girl out of bounds, and Tokuyami also advances to the next round by pushing Alien Girl out of bounds, and Bakugo wins his matches against Kirishima just by blowing him up with his explosions. And we also see to it that he tried. Ida was trying to call his brother, but his brother's on the patrol right now, and he ends up like um, he ends up like him um, signaling his friends that he found uh, found the hero killer, and that hero killer is actually gonna have a big role to play. Those of you who read the manga will know what I'm talking about. Anime only, you will be very very surprised if you watch this episode. And we see to it that um, Ida and Todoroki do face each other, and Ida does get manage to get a major hit on Todoroki. Tries to set him out of bounds, but Todoroki actually messed up by just like plugged up his engines and froze him up, and he and he wins the match. And as for Bakugo, he ends up defeating um, Tokoyami by realizing um, Tokoyami's quirk weakness and its light on his quirk, and therefore managed to defeat him and got him to give got him to give up. And we had to it that. Ida end up getting a call from his mother about what happened to his brother, and apparently we get to see the result of what just happened. And before all that, I'm pretty sure there was a scene that played. In, I'm pretty sure there was a scene that played in between after Ida, Ida and Todoroki's match. That like um, this guy saying that you know all these people who call themselves heroes, they're all freaking fake. All you do is freaking go for fame, money, and the only one who's allowed to kill me is All Might alone. And therefore, after, after, after a certain match when Ida gets a call or something, we have to it that the hero killer gets a full-on appearance, which I go like, wow, dude, just the look alone is really, 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 really scary. And we also see to it that, um, that one of the villains actually was trying to talk to him and says, hey, I actually heard about your notoriety or something. And he calls him... And he just wanted to have a little small meeting with him. Like, do you, can I have a moment of your time for a bit? 
and therefore ends up calling him like um hero killer stain and i'm thinking in my mind wow dude i don't know if it's either they might have approached him early even even so <laughs> So yeah, next episode is called Todoroki vs. Bakugo. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that match and so forth. So overall, like I said, pretty cool. Just a tournament match and Izuku and, Izuku and All Might talking to each other. And the revelation of a of a freaking antagonist that's been revealed in this episode. I thought he was not supposed to be revealed until later. But I don't know if, that's, if, it's, if it's either I'm missing something or I forgot that it might have been part of the chapter of the manga. Either that, you know, yeah. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off zero, people. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.